from the Hollywood high life to a quiet one away from it all, you'll be surprised to see just how Tom Selleck lives. I can throw out when I'm feeling awkward in social situations. The actor decided that Hollywood life just wasn't for him. Far from the glitz and glamour of Tinseltown, Selleck actually lives on a ranch in Ventura, California. It's a really lovely coastal town just northeast of Los Angeles. At the peak of his career starring as the lead in Magnum P.I., he quit. He explained it by saying that he didn't quit the show because he was tired of it or that he didn't like doing the show, but it was because he was tired from it. Selleck wanted what he calls a three-dimensional life. Look, we did eight really successful movies at CBS. I'm thinking it means a distinction between work, family, and me time. And given the way the 80s TV show consumed his life, it's easy to see why he wanted to just step away from it all. While filming the show, he worked 90 hours a week and shot a movie in every break that he had. And this eventually took a toll on him, ending the show after eight successful seasons. Getting away from it all served him well. We just tied Magnum. Wow, uh, that's amazing. The now 76-year-old actor is a very private person. In an interview with People magazine, he said what he valued more than anything else was spending time with his family. Selleck's actually a very private person and always seeks to find that work-life balance, which sort of makes him a Hollywood enigma. If you think about it, he tries to stay away from the limelight as much as it's possible. At the same time, he's managed to remain a staple of crime dramas for more than four decades. He actually thinks that the reason behind his long and successful career is that he stayed away from it all. Despite all of that, he still craves a more normal life. But of course, he understands that some of the trappings of being a big celebrity simply cannot be avoided. And she says, don't change, don't change. And she just keeps taking pictures. His California ranch home is actually what keeps him sane. In fact, he loves doing the grunt work around the ranch. He likes doing the rounds and watching things grow. The actor's ranch also includes a working avocado farm that has some 1,500 native trees. And guess what? He actually hates avocados. Put it in my den. Because <laughs> it's kind of butch. And it'll look good in my den effervescent quality that just lights up a room. Originally built back in the 1930s, the property has quite a history. Dean Martin previously owned the home before selling it to car dealer Fletcher Jones in 1969 for about $250,000. Selleck paid more than $5 million for the place when he bought it in 1988. So when he disconnects from work, he really disconnects. He works every other week, taping his episodes of Blue Bloods in New York City, and then he shoots his annual Jesse Stone TV movie for a month and half. Halifax, Nova Scotia. The star admitted that he spends every single minute of his free time on his ranch. Honestly, if I had a home like that, I would too. Selleck's ranch is the stuff of Hollywood dreams. Sprawled across an area of 65 acres, it's completely understandable why he never actually wants to leave the ranch. It's a Spanish-style colonial-era ranch house that dates back to the 1930s or even the 1910s, according to some records. It's got eight huge bedrooms, and that's not counting the staff accommodations. And it wouldn't be a real ranch without horses, so it has stables, corrals for keeping the livestock, and an adjoining tack room. This ranch is legit, but it's also got a swimming pool and a tennis court for when you want to work out but don't want the farm life. For the golf enthusiasts, there's also a three-hole putting course and a practice green. Oh, and did I mention the heliport? Yeah, he's got one of those too. But more than all the fancy trimmings, the actor admits that the ranch lifestyle grounds him. Living in such a space is a great counterpoint to show business, he says. <laughs> it was little. It was, yeah. Is it okay to say your age? You, you say it. In a 2018 interview, the actor said that just the sheer difference between the two lifestyles was something he really valued. In the acting business, everything's abstract. You do something and everyone else argues about whether it's good or bad. But on the ranch, it's all too real. You dig a hole and you plant an oak tree, and it's there, it's real. The actor's a true connoisseur of fine homes. There was the legendary Los Angeles apartment he lived in before the ranch, and the Hawaii home too, where he lived during the filming of Magnum P.I. But the 1800 square feet LA pad really encapsulated the personality and energy of the 80s icon. He even hired James Blakely III to do up the space. The whole apartment was done in different kinds of woods, duck decoys, Persian carpets, and pipe racks. It also featured columns and arches, paisleys, western bronzes, riding boots, and polo mallets. Do you see it now? It was like a super upscale cabin in the woods kind of thing. And of course, the apartment was filled with antiques. Also, what always works is I'm from the IRS and I'm here to help. Well, my mom cried.
for exactly 10 seconds. Who knew the action star had a thing for history? Let's face it, it just wasn't something we expected from the big, burly ex-Navy SEAL. But one thing was certain about his LA space. It had a definitive masculine character to it, even though he was married at the time. The family home was in Hawaii, though, and he only came to LA for work and just didn't want to stay in hotels anymore. Once he quit the show, the family was ready to move into their ranch to start a family. But it wasn't all easy going. The couple got into some serious trouble for stealing water. Who would have thought that the on-screen hero would be in trouble for stealing water from the local hydrant? Well, it's very much true. Selleck and his wife of over 30 years, Jilly Mack, got into some legal trouble in 2015. They were sued for stealing truckloads of water from a hydrant that was serving a construction site during the California drought. According to the Cayegas Municipal Water District, Selleck used a large water tender truck to make at least 12 trips from the hydrant to his property. The authorities said that some trips may have gone undetected, though, so it's impossible to determine how much water was stolen. The couple was discovered transporting water in late 2013 and were sent two cease and desist letters, but the actor ignored them as he kept stealing water. Selleck then had to pay $21,000 to cover the cost of a private investigation and more money in terms of damages. He was also banned from taking more of the district's water for his personal use. Awkward! It may be tough, but Selleck and his British wife definitely appreciate the ranch life, more than they ever loved the LA or Hawaii life. Many even thought that staying out of the spotlight might affect his career after Magnum P.I., but the actor has maintained his star status. It didn't with Magnum P.I. for Selleck, but it did become his defining role. That and the mustache. Selleck has starred in over 50 movies, but Three Men and a Baby has got to be my favorite Selleck movie. And then he had a more obvious return to TV with a short stint on Friends as Monica's boyfriend, Dr. Richard Burke. Dad, I'm the Twinkie. You're the Twinkie? Oh, I have an appointment at my barber's. But your friend, he's still here. No, he's gone. By my practice, we could move to France. His longest running role is actually his most recent one. Selleck plays police commissioner Frank Reagan on the CBS police drama Blue Bloods. The show's currently in its 12th season. That's four more than the iconic Magnum P.I. But guess which role he's always going to be remembered for. But the one thing that hasn't changed about Selleck is the mustache, and I'm here for it. See you guys in the next video. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you could work for a month in a show with multiple leads and never see your fellow actor. Hey there. What? Oh my god! <laughs> Again, I'm sorry. It was good to see you. It's good to see you too. Oh. It's very coarse. It's a family trait. Coarse oh, hair. Sit down. Keep still. No. No. So what's the population of Romania? I'm remembering to lower my voice, and I couldn't take lying to the people that I love. Dreamy one, where I was, you know, kind of half there and half not. That's, that's, that was... <laughs> the rest is just, I'm making faces. Well, at least I know one wedding present you're getting. Your choice of precincts.